Hello, Max. Welcome to JR Studio. Did you come here to draw? Yes. Did you bring some drink today? Oh, okay. Ah, what kind of drink is that? Do you like your new apron? Not really? Are you taking off your apron? Oh, okay. Can you get it off? And then you try to come up to the table. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Yoon from J Art Studio and today we're gonna do some sketches so we're gonna find some objects and set up still life like that so you can find the objects like um, anything actually a shoe or lamp uh, or uh, even small as a little spoon or cups or anything you find that and set up on the table and you can do some drawings Okay, so I found a, a little sculpture of the lady and then a pear and a, a glass bottle. Okay, so I set up the kind of simple three objects like that. And then I'm going to show you how to draw and how to shade. Okay, so things that you needed today is just the pencil and eraser and then some practice paper and then some nice paper if you can find it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the drawing it uh, first. Okay, so first of all, when you draw, you're gonna set up the objects, right? So if you end up finding a lot of objects, like a five or six, better to set up like something in the front, something in the back. So create a foreground, middle ground, background, okay? So that's a nice composition. If you don't have it that way, then we can just set up like this is fine too, okay? So I'm gonna start with the uh, sculpture. I'm gonna put it right here. So indicate the approximate size like a box shape and then maybe the pair like an oval shape and maybe the glass uh, bottle like a rectangular shape and see how it's gonna fit on your paper so if that looks okay then move on get on to the life size the life size means as big as uh, the object okay don't go too small okay good composition is a uh, like first of all when you look at the picture it look comfortable in your eyes okay let's say if you draw very tiny one here and one here and one here like that in the on huge paper like that i don't think it's a good composition okay so make it good size and put it in the center of a paper now i'm gonna start with my sculpture lady right here So uh, just just uh, practice so you don't have to draw so well or anything. I'm going to indicate where it's going to go. So I'm going to put this lady right here. Okay. Pairs normally draw like a snowman. So you're going to start with a, one circle, another circle down here, and then kind of connect them. So that's uh, a pair right here. Okay. And then the bottle. I'm gonna put a center line here because when you draw center here, left to right is equal shape. They are symmetrical object. It's better to indicate center line so so you're gonna make an equal shape left to right. Okay. So now I'm gonna draw the neck along the center line so you get an equal shape here to here. Okay. And then little shoulder here and then outer shape like that and then some look like that so it's gonna fit in pretty good in the page okay so now i'm gonna get on to my final paper nice uh, white blank paper if you can find it okay now i'm gonna indicate it just like i did it before a sculpture of the lady and then the pair i'm gonna put it right Now I'm going to draw an egg shape overhead, indicate the eyes, nose and the mouth. She is actually wearing a scarf on her head. Okay. 
Okay, that's uh, just the uh, very simple looking uh, a sculpture of lady. Again, the pair you draw, snowman shape, and then and when you draw butter again, draw a center line, make a symmetrical. Draw a neck of the bottle and, and then don't forget the shoulder of the bottle and bring it straight down. Now before we do a shading, you're gonna erase the old guy line. Now I want to show you how to shade. Uh, start off with the uh, the lady's sculpture. Uh, I'm doing a hatching. Uh, hatching means uh, you're shading in one direction. When you compare the object to the white paper, it's dark anyway. Even the pair you compare, even bottle compare it, it's uh, dark anyway. So we're gonna shade the whole thing create a base tone of uh, the object. Here, the darker area, you're gonna go over one more time again. Again, one direction of the uh, shading is called hatching. Okay, and then you can erase the uh, excess off of it. Now I want to show you how to do gradation of the value of a pencil mark. Okay, when you press less and gradually press harder, you can see the value getting light, light to dark. If you are left-handed, start with the bottle on the object to the right first. If you are right-handed, start the object from left. Okay, because uh, uh, now I'm right-handed, I'm start with the uh, sculpture first. Now I find the darker area on the sculpture. I'm gonna shade it more, make it more darker. Smudge under your hand, then put the paper underneath, and. Pencil shading techniques such as uh, cross etching or blending or you know uh, hatching or something will make a uh, drawing more realistic. So you find the highlight, I will show you how to do highlight by erasing it in a minute. So I'm going to go into the, all the dark shadow areas. Now we did the shading from the middle tone to the black darkest. Now we're gonna erase it, creating a highlight to the middle gray tone by erasing it. Now you wanna erase it for the highlight. Yeah, simply just go ahead and erase the where the light comes, bright areas. Now after that, you can retouch up again. A 
okay same thing uh, I'm gonna do onto the pair and then oh, erase it out the excess of the pencil mark and then let's see compare the light light coming from left and a shadow crease on the right Adding a shading definitely uh, create a depth to your subjects. Now I'm gonna erase it out for the highlights and uh, light area. There's some shadow there. Now same thing with the bottle. I'm going to shade it the whole thing with one uh, base tone. Make it into middle gray tone. This one you can put paper and you can simply erase it. Okay. Then it comes out very straight on the edges. Now same thing, I found the dark area, press a little harder and make it darker. So here we studied light and shadow and gradation. Okay. And then again, erase it out, shine areas. Now we wanna uh, create the shadow. I'm applying a little bit of shadow there underneath of a, a pair and then under and a little behind the bottle but I'm gonna smudge a little bit make a shadow a little softer So let's clean the background. This is a uh, um, round dolly. It's like a decoration for the paper plate, right? Uh, hope if you have uh, something like that at home, you can get it out. And then on the piece of paper, I'm gonna make it very dark here. So if you can um, 
about this you can ask your parents to uh, do that for you i don't want you to just uh, grab the knife okay so try to get have your parents to get the pencil and scrape off your graphite lead with a knife okay scrape off with a knife and then use a paper towel to uh, grab a little bit here and then go around the dolly an outer but don't go don't get onto your object okay just lightly spread okay let's see what happens you take it off then you have a very nice uh design of the look like uh, there's a like lace of a tablecloth or something right okay so i kind of like that so i'm going to add more here like And then after that, go over and shadow, smudge one more time again. Okay, there you go. Nicely done. I really had a fun creating around the objects. That's uh, the that's the sketch we did it today and I hope you enjoyed and then thank you and uh, we'll see you again. All right, I'm gonna sign up right here. Don't forget to sign and put the date on it, okay? That's very important, okay? Okay, today date is, uh, so you can remember uh, how much you improved later. Okay, thank you, bye-bye.